You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty. Claire, how's it going? It is spooky out there. I am so stoked for this upcoming weekend. <laughs> Love it. And we're calling this the Halloween Activity Weekend Special, correct? Yes. Yep. Today we're going to talk all things Halloween. Uh, there is so much going on that I really just want to focus on that and what's happening this weekend. And then next week, we're going to jump into some really fun stuff happening for November. Very fun. I cannot yes. believe October is already Oh my God, over. don't even start. <laughs> I feel like I blinked. I always say that. It was like, oh, I blinked and then this month went by. I was like, no, no, this was like half a blink. Like my eyes started to close <laughs> yeah. and it was like, oh, by October. Exactly. So. <laughs> and I'm sad because October is like my favorite month of the year and it's just already gone. But <laughs> already, but it's because it was full of fun, right? right? We had thunder on the mountain to start out. We had the carnival and the apple festival and so many fun things that filled every single weekend. And we're here at the last weekend, which is just as much fun, but it's gone so fast. It has, it has. <laughs> but before the month is over, let's talk about what fun we still have left to do this yes. weekend. Fantastic. All right, starting with our breweries this week, we have Local Craft Beer. They have their musical open mic night on Thursdays, and Poke Express will be there this week. Friday through Sunday, they have Lupita's Tacos. And then on Friday, they have Jake Schwartz coming out to play at 7 p.m. We know every Wednesday is Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night. And if I'm not mistaken, they had a Halloween-themed uh trivia night this last week and they might even have another one next week i'm not sure what the what the topic will be okay over at old west they have their open mic night on fridays with tucker brown and cub and gut pizza will be there saturday they have yoga and beer with space flow at 4 p.m always super fun and then they have a Halloween karaoke party starting in the evening at 5 p.m. with DJ Tom. Costumes are recommended. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, and they do this every year, and it's been really, really fun. Okay, I have a question, though. Is this yeah. the yoga and beer? Is that happening happening simultaneously, or do you do some yoga and then you drink <laughs> beer? <laughs> Generally, you do the yoga first, okay, okay. and then you enjoy the beer. Um, however, to each their own. Sure. <laughs> so that sounds like a recipe for an upset stomach. Right? <laughs> but it sounds fun. I'm all in. <laughs> yes, it's it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to relax and you know stretch those muscles, give yourself some love, and uh, and then yeah, afterward you get a, a, a pint and just enjoy. <laughs> sounds like a great time. Yay. <laughs> And uh, we know Cub and Gut Pizza will also be there on Saturday. On Sunday, Old West Brewing has Sunday Sessions. And this week we have Whistle in the Pines by Thorne Ashton at 5 p.m. I like very that. Nice. I got my NPR voice out. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> I feel like Whistle in the Pines was very calming. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right. Then over at West Lane, we have Musical Bingo happening Thursday today. And Lupita's Tacos will be there. And then Friday, we have a beer sensory workshop by Classy Flair by Christine. So a little bit like a tasting workshop, a beer tasting workshop, but there's even more to it. So I'm very excited. I think this is going to be really educational, fun, and come away with a little bit more knowledge about beer, how it's made, and ways to taste it. Good. So you can sound educated the next time you just hit the brewery for fun. Right? And <laughs> like, who doesn't want that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Lupita's will be there Friday night. Saturday, they have a punk night, and Ma Dukes will be there. That's a food truck. doesn't come up very often, but I'm excited because they have a lot of really good food. And then um, just letting everybody know for West Lane, they normally had their open mic night on Wednesdays all throughout the seasons, and now that we're moving into winter season, they're going to move that open mic night to Saturdays starting next week. Gotcha. Yeah. Heading over to our vineyards, Tehachapi Winery has Mike Peters playing on Saturday from 2 to 5. And on Sunday, Lauren and Silas will be there from 2 to 5. They'll have Mosner sandwiches available on Sunday and charcuterie all throughout the weekend. 
Tehachapi Wine and Cattle Company has Mike Heckathorn playing from 2 to 5 on Saturday. And Allison Reynolds will be there from 2 to 5 on Sunday. And if you have not heard Allison Reynolds, she is spectacular. And she uses a fiddle through a lot of her music. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's a little bit of a different type of music that we hear out here. And she's always been a huge hit. So come on out Sunday, Tatch Me Wine and Cattle Company, for some of that wonderful music. And they have their traditional menu that they'll be serving all throughout the weekend. And that will be their Santa Maria style tri-tip sandwiches with potato salad or chips. And a fall salad with tri-tip. They have their charcuterie, sangria, all the goods. Dorner Family Vineyard has their wine club pickup party this weekend. So super spooky spectacular. Friday, they have a special members-only party. So if you're a Dorner member, head out on Friday between 5 and 8. And Heft and Wilson will be playing that evening. And they will have Chili Soup Salad Bar. Oh. So getting, I mean, it was chilly today, right? Yeah. Yeah, So I feel like chili is perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Chili for a chilly day. Exactly. Yes. Um, And then on Saturday and Sunday, they'll be open to the public. Milo Sledge will be playing from 1 to 5 on Saturday. Steve Hill will be there from 1 to 5 on Sunday, and they will have that chili meal available all throughout the weekend. Love it. Yeah. Triassic Vineyards has Cary Park playing on Saturday, and Cub and Gut Pizza will be there, and they will have their Halloween party, and costumes are encouraged, because costumes (laughs) are always, like, people go above and beyond for this costume Halloween party at Triassic, and it's so much fun. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. And um, you go ahead. I think that party will kind of start around 2.30, but it probably won't get really up and running till about 5 o'clock. So head on over there sometime in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, Guitar Ted is playing at 2.30. And then we know Stray Leaves Tasting Room right here in downtown is open Wednesdays through Sundays, 3 to 8 p.m. And Los Fiajeros, located on the 202, is open by appointment which means just give them a call and head on over. Love it. <laughs> yes. So we know there's a lot of wonderful Halloween stuff happening this weekend. Absolutely. But before we get into that, can we talk Discover Tatchby? Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. We at Discover Tatchby coordinate all-inclusive wine tours and beer tours, and we help you create custom tours. So if there's something in particular that you really want, or if there's certain uh, vineyards that you want to go to, then let us know. All you need is a group of eight, and we will coordinate that for you. Now with our signature wine tour, we have everyone on a rotation. So we have six different vineyards. We want to make sure everyone is covered and that we get you to as many as possible. We have three that we visit for each wine tour. So if there are some specific vineyards that you would like to go to, a custom tour might be a better option. But we make sure everything is included and that you are f- having a great time. And you know everything from water throughout the trip to snacks, we make sure that you have a full lunch and we adhere to any dietary preferences. So if, you, if there's any allergies or anything, let us know. We can make sure that you are safe and sound. <laughs> and... Um, we, you can book them 24 hours in advance, um, with as few as two people. We love so, it. Yeah. Taking care of all fun. the details to make sure that you can enjoy all of the wonderful wineries we have out here. Yes. And we want to make sure it's, it's a good opportunity for everyone to just get together and enjoy. You don't have to worry about driving. You know, we'll pick you up. If you have a group of four, we'll pick you up at your house oh. and drop you off at your house. So you don't have to think about anything that day. Super handy. Yeah, yeah. We want to make sure everybody feels taken care of. (laughs) Love it. Okay, let's get into uh, what else we have going on this weekend. Okay. Are you guys ready? (laughs) Buckle up. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) All right. The first thing I want to talk about is the Downtown Tehachapi Treat Trail. This has been phenomenal. So um, Funky Junk Antiques and Go To Girls, they spearheaded this idea of, okay, well, we're not going to have a trunk or treat downtown, so we need something for our downtown community and families all over to come and celebrate Halloween and have a safe trick-or-treat experience. Mm -hmm. So they started reaching out to businesses, and they reached out to the chamber, and they said, hey, we have this idea. Let's see if people are interested. And holy moly, (laughs) after two weeks, we have 39 different businesses and organizations that 
are taking part in this. I can't and, believe that. That's yes. so many. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And including City Hall. And, yep. you know, we're, we're so excited. There's going to be people all over downtown offering candy and just making it a really fun experience for our, our residents. That's amazing. So it's not just, you know, one business here and there. No, it's if you're going downtown, you're really going to get your your yes. time's worth, your <laughs> candy's worth, if you will. Yes. Um, so, yeah, check yeah. it out. Yes, absolutely. So the chamber will have maps available and there will be a, um, I will be printing out a lot all of these maps but I'm waiting until Tuesday to do it because we do have a few folks that are still coming in and they want to participate. So Tuesday will be the final map. Make sure we'll have we'll, we'll have it out on social media. It'll be all over Facebook, all over the groups, on Instagram. And it'll also have printed versions at the chamber available and also all over downtown. And all those uh, businesses will have copies of the maps as well. But I just want to give you a heads up. We have Auntie M's, Conan's, Go To Girls, Jake's, the Semarenko team. Uh, Semarenko team will be partnering up with Jake's, so you don't have to walk so far off the beaten <laughs> path. But uh, they were very excited to be a part of this as well. Four Seasons Cafe, Remax to Hatchapi, that will be at their new location at 112 South Curry Street. Funky Junk. <clears throat> And then Sheridan's, Kelsey's, Gallery and Gifts, Keller Williams Realty, American Pacific Mortgage, Country Real Estate, Moses Master Carpet, Nanette Keller, Buelna's, Moe's Barbershop, Petra's Mediterranean, Kern County Library, Tatchby Unified Church, Randall Cam DDS, uh, Miele Apothecary, Primo Burgers, um, Southern Shooters Supply, Philip H. Darling, Attorney, Mountain Music, Joyful Life Hypnotherapy, Be Good to Yourself, City of Tehachapi, Chamber of Commerce, WM, uh, and the Tehachapi Amateur Radio Association. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> That's like, just seems about all the businesses we've got in town. Yes. <laughs> and that will be on Halloween night, Tuesday from 4 to 7. Lovely. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, so heading over to our Trunk or Treats, we have um, Alta One's Trunk or Treat that will be at 665 Tucker Road from 6 to 8 p.m. They will have candy, cotton candy, popcorn, a DJ, music, and lots of games. On October 28th, we have the Goulden Hills Trick or Treat from 4 to 7. That will be located at 21415 Reeves Street. And they'll have candy and games and face painting and so much fun. And then in Bear Valley Springs, they have their Trunk or Treat and Halloween Carnival on October 28th from 5 to 8. And the, Teha the Tehachapi Terror Haunted House has been, they had a great weekend this last weekend. It was super packed and they're looking forward to another great weekend this weekend. So they'll be available on the 27th, 28th, and 29th. They are located at 16966 East Tehachapi Boulevard and they will be open from six to nine each of those days. That's great. People should really go check it out. I went with my family this past Sunday and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> they really, all the actors and everything are really getting into it. And it's a fun, quick, easy, exciting way to get into the Halloween spirit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's such a cool thing because, you know, for, for them to, to put that together and yeah. to have so much invested mm -hmm. in it for our community. And, and so that way we don't, those of us that love those haunted experiences, we don't have to drive down to L.A. or, right. you know. Uh, out communities that are one to two hours away. Right. We can enjoy it here. Exactly. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a spooktacular Halloween concert happening at the ADHC newly renovated building at 123 West F Street. And that will be on Saturday. T Pops is putting on this really spooky Halloween concert and it's going to be a ton of fun. So you can go ahead and give them a call for more details or head on over there on Saturday from 2 to 4, 661-822-1753. And that's not it. We have <laughs> on Saturday the, and please, uh, I apologize ahead of time if I am butchering this name, the Cisneros Family Farms Harvest Fest is taking place on Saturday from 1 to 5. They're located at 18259 Alps Street. They, they are charging $5 a person for ages four and up. 
And this includes hayride, face painting, an opportunity to go in and play in a petting zoo, and lots of games. And they will have a harvest market with various vendors. They'll have some street tacos available for purchase and pumpkins for purchase. Fun. Yes, yes. I think it's going to be a really great time, like kind of the quintessential family fall experience. And there will also be live music all throughout the day. Awesome. Yeah. The VFW will have Smoke and Jack Primo playing on Saturday um, for a Halloween show from 7 to 11 p.m. They're located at 221 Tehachapi Boulevard. And our local public library has a lot of really fun stuff happening for Halloween. Starting off on Friday, they have a haunted house story time at 3.30. And then they have a cookie decorating party at 4 p.m., So always super fun, getting those cookies decorated, bringing them home and enjoying them. I love that. Then they have a spooky Lego time on today, Thursday at 3.30. And then on Saturday, they have a volunteer orientation at 12 p.m. for anyone who wants to learn how to work and volunteer at the library and who wants to be a part of Friends of the Library. And then on Tuesday, their toddler time will be Halloween themed at 11.30. And then from 4.30 to 6.30, they have a Halloween bash. Awesome. Plenty of stuff to do just at the library. Right? And all around town. Yes. (laughs) So that is everything I have been able to find. I know there's even more going on out there. So I wish everyone a very safe and happy Halloween and and autumn harvest weekend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. <laughs> Absolutely. There is just plenty to do. I don't think it'd be even possible to get to all of it. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I know my daughter's going to try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome, Claire. Thank you so much for bringing all this information in. One more time, tell me how can people uh, book a tour with Discover to Hatchby? Thank you. You can always follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok at Discover to Hatchby. You can always message us through those. We're usually pretty good at getting back to you pretty quickly. And you can always give us a call, 661-235-5334. Or visit our website for more information and to book, discoverthatchby.com. All right, Claire, thank you so much. That'll do it for this week in update. Again, if you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to say to us, be sure to send us an email at media at thatchbycityhall.com. And we'll see you next week. All right, see ya. <laughs> Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tehachapicityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.